Hey, watch your mouth, kid. Bitcoin is 89k, okay? <laughs> don't, don't push money Moicano too much. Otherwise, yeah. I'm not gonna fight, my brother. No, I don't need that shit. I'll burn everything, I don't care. <laughs> hey, these guys <laughs> stretching bochecha, Adriano you know why Marais, he's, You everybody. know why this motherfucker is running his mouth like that? Because Bitcoin is 89k, <laughs> my brother. That's fucking why. You know? Best podcast in the business. The name is Show Me The Money. Welcome back to the Show Me The Money podcast. I am here in Las Vegas, Gilbert and Moicano in studio. How we doing, fellas? We're what's good. up? What's up? What's up, Matty Bats? You're losing some money on Vegas today? Oh, bro. Hey, I made some money on Donald Trump. How about you, bro? I saw that. I mean, I made two. I made two. I wish I, I, wish I put more, my brother. The popular vote, bro, did you, you see? You People bet. were was saying that I was stupid because... Republicans never won the popular vote in 20 years. Guess I who's laughing that. now, my brother? I saw that, bro. You know what's crazy is I I bet on him to win the election. If I would have bet the popular vote, would have paid way more. How much I, you I bet? I to win the election. I bet 13K on, on Donald to win the election. Paid 10K profit. Man, that's that's good money. But not... Yeah. not let not... Uh, fuck, bro. I forget the words. Coffee. Let's not what? talk about betting. Let's talk about shitty thing. Have you seen the Bitcoin price today, my brother? I, wow. Have I you seen? Bro, it's all Everything it's up every up. the whole crypto market's up. Unbelievable. And the stock too. And the stock is up too. Everything. How much money you make, Moicano? I don't I don't I don't count in money. I count in Satoshis and Bitcoins, my brother. My profit is in Satoshis. <laughs> have you heard about that? It's in disclosure. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. The first thing that you have to know about Bitcoin, you don't tell how much Bitcoin you have, my brother. Yeah. But you have a lot. <laughs> I, I, I buy Bitcoin. I, can, I can't say that. Okay. What about you? I, have, I, have, I, have, I was so happy with Bitcoin. I had Bitcoin, Ethereum. I have other meme coins that is good too, so everything is... They are the ones that are, are, are a scam, my brother. No, every 100%, single one. 100%, 100%. I have Brett, I have a sponsor like Pepe, I have a couple other ones, but they all flying right now, so I'm very happy with crypto, with stock marketing, you know, like, we're doing good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the whole market's crushing. You guys watched the full card last week? Yes. 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 I just missed a couple fights. Yeah. Which fight you miss? Dude, pro I did watch Which one did I did miss? not watch Gaston Bolanos versus Coronavirus. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> versus yeah. who? Coronavirus. <laughs> and what's your, uh, what was the other one you missed? Hey, I go 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 down. Scroll down. Please. Kyle Betts. <laughs> I didn't watch the, Ma this Mansoor. Abdul Malik versus Todorovic. I, I just oh, saw yeah. uh, the, the highlight because it was a, a nice knee. Yeah, I didn't watch that. And the other ones I, I watch. Yeah, Mansoor put him away early. That was an easy fight for him. Eliseu dos Santos I didn't watch, but it was watched. too fast, right? It was right? quick. Yeah, quick, yeah. quick finish. And overhand right and quick finish. Yeah. And then I yeah, watched Charles, the Charles Rodrick too. Quick night too. He got... Bro, he's actually got a, a nice left hook and decent striking, and that just shows you how good Carlos Protes yes. is. Because but was yeah. not even he fought Carlos Protes in his last fight. Yeah, yeah, it was not even a left hook that he hit the guy. The left hook ended. He, he he hurt the guy with the two right hands that the guy was the guy was bad. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. On this last card, Charles Hadjik was the best betting by far, my brother. Even mm -hmm. better than than Carlos Protes because. Because he got knocked out by Carlos Prates, uh, everybody was counting him out. But Smelly Burger, he was he was fucking off his last six fight. He lost five, so he was yeah. minus one sixty. Man, that was just free money, easy money. And how is the Mon Black Shear? I did not watch that fight bro. too. Oh, he easy, the easy. Black Shear is Fly a beast, me. bro. There's a, him up. a great. Great bounce back spot for Blackshear. Showed his grappling. 
sub Cody early. He, I think he hurt him. He hurt him on the feet first, and then his grappling is nice, bro. Cody's statement only really been subbed by like elite grapplers. Like it was like Aljo and one other guy that's ever put him away by submission. So Blackshear was a super impressive performance, and it was a good bounce back spot for him because he had got starched in that in that last fight in the first ten seconds, and I lost a, a ton on that fight. Yeah, who, I, who I, fought less? I have a, uh, the, the 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 black dude knocking him out with a jab. Uh, I forgot his name. What's his name? Matty. It's uh, it was a straight left. I think he's got serious power at that division, though. It was uh, the guy, the black dude from Jersey. I don't know. But yeah. what you talking about yeah. before? The <coughs> it was Montel Montel Jackson. Montel yeah, Jackson. Montel Jackson. So I have yeah, a guy. He's got serious power. I have a friend of mine. I forgot who it was, but that he say, hey. Tell Matty, I tell you all his parlays. Every single oh, one. He put a little money, but he said he didn't hit any parlay. What happened, Matty? Well, yeah, no, I got crushed, bro. He yeah, said, you guys, all right, so. Because you have Carlos Pratt on the second round and was first round. You had, you kind of, the what Ten was. seconds. What my guy explained to me was everything, you kind of accurate, but sometimes you messed up with a round or you messed up with something, right? Yeah. Bro, so I put. 2k to win 90k two leg parlay i had uh carlos protest round two is the last leg the first leg was melissa mullins round two finish women's mma round two finish nine to one it hit second leg carlos protest to put away neil magny in round two i was 10 seconds away from ninety thousand dollar hit and neil magny goes out unconscious in the last 10 seconds of the he round i couldn't out, believe man. it he was out like <laughs> Facing Man, Carlos the floor. Prates, he's the real dude. He's so yes. good on the striking. Yeah, yes. unbelievable. What did you guys think of? Uh, what did you guys think of that shot that that put Neil Magny out? Because oh. there was a lot of controversy. Oh. On that little bit on the back of the like, head, he hit you hard. Yeah. That's it, right? Like the guy was face planted. So I think this guy is a real, real deal. And I heard on on, on the back story that the guy has a a problem on his big toe. On, on his big toe, big big problem. And his knee was kind of bad too. So New Magni? No, no, no. Carlos Prates. Carlos Prates had two major injuries going to the fight, and he does what he does. You know, he look he looked great. You know, and then they they uh, you saw the ranks. He's number thirteen. Yeah, number right thirteen. Now. He did good. That's good. I think that was legit, and I like uh, the. That's a big jump up. Yeah. How, how you like his call outs, Matty? Because I think he did great. Yeah, uh, he called out two guys, right? It was it was uh, Jeff Neal and who's the other? Jack Madalena. Uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah JDM, Jack that's Jack right. Man. I like the Jeff Neal call out. I thought that was a good call out. I that'd like be the a, Jack call that'd out. That'd be a great scrap. I like yeah. the Jack call out. You don't think so? Because Jack, last one was against me, but was what? March, April, he in Miami. Then he was injured. He was out. The kind of, when you have... <laughs> A big layoff, your hype kind of goes down a little bit, right? If you're not fighting much. And I think you got to fight back a little bit Thank now. And then that. I like very much that call out Jack Madalena, especially, hey, I'm wow. fighting in 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 Sydney. You know, I'm going to your house like like Moicano today. You saw the Moicano Twitter today or not? No. Nah. Come on, Matty. What are you doing, bro? This guy's crazy in Vegas. He's not seeing every, anything. Is the roulette, my brother? Hey, I was at, I was at the red, I was at the Red Rock last night with Uncle Dana, bro. Uncle Dana was was pressing at the high limit room. Yeah, <laughs> he was doing good with the yeah. blackjack. Dana, Dana was there. Uh, Bob Mennery, uh, a couple other guys, but Dana, dude, Dana's just a man, bro. He's just living the dream. He just in high limit. He gambles every day, just betting heavy at the tables. It's, it's hilarious. That's your goal. Look at him. Look at his eyes. His <laughs> eyes kind of like, look at this guy. That's his goal. Look at him. Yeah. We, ha we have to make a meme like Dana White holding Maddie Bats like a son. <laughs> the bald Maddie Bats. Aging. You, you need to get bald, my guy. Yeah. You need to get bald. Oh, and he's in shape right now. He's in a great shape right now. Yeah. He's doing, yeah, he's no, fasting he and all that stuff, fasting right? Fasting a lot. Don't know why. Ice, ice, clo ice cold every day, fasting crazy, right? He look, but when you see his old pictures, remember Fat. remember when Connor fought uh, Floyd Mayweather that yeah. he was screaming, yeah. defending, remember his face? Like yeah. his face was that yeah. side. Red. And red. Red as fuck. Freaking. The, the, the man was about to have Dana. a heart attack, my brother. <laughs> Pink Dana. Yeah. Dude, that's what he said. He said uh, with that Gary Brecker guy, he said he was like 
10, 12 years away from dying according to according to that 10x health stuff or whatever. That's crazy though. Like they that that company like he literally predicts like your life expectancy. We gotta do that with you, Maddie. What do you think? How, I don't know, bro. How many I, more years you have right over. now, Maddie? With a crazy gambling lifestyle, how many more years? Uh, I'm 32 right now, so I I got the over of 64, bro. <laughs> 64, brother. <laughs> you want to live it until 64? Hey, let, let, let's talk to I Gary. Said, I said I have the over. Let's talk to Gary Becker, Maddie. We need to get you like I'm to down. 80, 85, uh, 90. What, is, what, do you, what do you guys think as, as fighters, bro? How long do you think you're going to live to? 104. That's my Abraham, bro. We're going like a hundred, bro. We we I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a hundred. We shoot him to a hundred. That's 100. why I'm fighting smart. Fight smart. Take easy money down. fights. Yeah. You know, easy money fights. Talk. Tell him about his tw your Twitter today. No, brother. Somebody, somebody sent me uh, the the UFC London. The right? UFC London, and March. I think MMA on point or some site like that. They on page like that. They they ask. Oh. Who, do you, who do you guys want to to see as a main event? And they put like Leon Edwards and Ian Gary or Buckley and Arnold Allen versus Yai Rodriguez Murphy. and Moicano versus Paddy Pimblet. And then I thought, okay, what do you guys think about Paddy Pimblet and, and Manny Moicano? And a lot of people, they, they like the, the post. So I think people are people want to see the fight, want to watch the fight. A lot of likes on the, on the post. So did you yeah, like the, the post? What? Did you like the post, Matty? No, he now. was playing, bro. <laughs> Come on, Matty. What's the UFC doing, bro? Like, that's are they gonna they gotta make this fight eventually, bro? Everybody wants yeah, to see and, it. And and I don't know what they're going to do, but I don't I don't like Arnold Allen versus Ayay Rodriguez as the, the main, main event, event, right? No, no, in no way they do. I that. think they have they they have Leroy Murphy versus Arnold Allen. They, on that Little Murphy, that yes. Little Murphy. Yeah, yeah but yes. no main event. For sure, for sure they're going to be on the main card, but not main event. Yeah, and mm. I don't know about Aspinall, and I don't know about Gain, but... But there's a fight night. Aspinall is, is a, is a uh, interim champ, true. so he's that's not going to fight. So Aspinall is not fighting. Aspinall that, yeah. is out of that. Leon, maybe, or you and, and Pimblet, or we'll see. Yeah. But not Aspinall. I think that's the fight to make. Money Moicano versus Easy Money Pimblet. In, in London, yes. he gonna have the all support of the English people, but I'm going over there destroying him, right? I have, I have a question. So you said the last episode that someone, they offered you a fight, but someone turned down. My question is, was Patty Pimblet or no? No, it was not Patty Pimblet. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna say who it no, was. No, but I just want to know if it was Patty or not. No, it was, so not, it was Patty not Patty. And, and I don't think they would... No. Make that fight in such a hurry, right? December 14th yeah, 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 against yeah. Paddy. I think probably yeah. they want Paddy on, on, on England, right? I, I think they want you both to win one more fight and they make that. That's yeah. what no, I But think. that doesn't make sense for yeah. me. If I'm not fighting Paddy Pimblet right now, I'm not fighting after. Okay. Because let's say you I fight... step back again. One way more back, time. way back, right? Yeah. I'm now I'm, I'm, I don't even know how my rank is, but probably I will fight somebody and I'll be around the top five. So... My next fight, if it's not Paddy Pimblet, will be somebody that can put me on the title, you okay. know? That's the right time to do no it. No fighting back anymore. Ah, uh, depends on the money. Depends, <laughs> right? Really depends. But, <laughs> you know? I, I'm telling yeah. people, brother, they, they keep asking me, do you want to be champion? I just want to be champion because of the money. It's not, it's not I like, like that. you I know? like the honesty. Yeah, yeah I don't want to be... Just, I want to be the best in the world. I am the best in the world, bro. I already know, I like you know, so I don't, I don't fucking care. In my eyes, I am in the best. Like, like Cristiano that. Ronaldo, I like sou melhor. Yeah, I like that, I like that. <laughs> so, 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 I think, uh, but, but a main event is always a main event, especially in England against Perry Pimblet, I think makes sense. It, it, it's, it's a little bit far. I would like to fight sooner. January, but that's yes. a big fight. We big cannot fight. deny that. That's big a big fight. fight. And I have, a, I have a. Did you watch the last card, uh, Maddie, or no? Yeah. D D who you have money? You have money on Jerry Merchant or Rainier the Reader? Yeah. So I took, 
I took GM three round two three. I just thought he would rally, but he kind of gassed a little bit late. And it was just a, it was a good grappling matchup, it, it, um, and he just couldn't get it done. I was I was really rooting for him. Uh, for sure, we got Jared Merchant. But what do you think, Moicano, the reader, two times one championship, two division champion, and the the level of this guy to come and and, and kind of was losing to Jared Merchant. First and second round on the feet, for sure he was doing a good job on the floor. They both grappling, but he was not looking good on striking. GM3, GM3 is my guy. He trained, he comes to the party. We love him. We always going to back him up, but he's not the best striker. And the guy was pissing him up. So my question is, what's the level of one championship in UFC? What's the difference? It's very hard to tell, brother. It's very hard to tell what's the level of one championship. Because you know what? I don't watch... One FC, <laughs> so you don't know. Do you watch One FC? I do. I like a couple. You guys don't there. fucking watch One FC, my brother. Don't I tell watch. me that. <laughs> no, you no, watch One FC, I do. Maddie? I do. Maddie, you watch One nah, FC? I, I, I ain't even gonna front. I don't. No, I. I People I, don't watch that I, shit, my brother. It's I always do. Friday, and you, 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 you put on the TV or the PC or whatever, and there is Muay Thai fights. But I, right? I, ha I have so it's many friends fights. there. I have Angla Sang that was two division champions. They lost to the reader. I, I love Rod Tang. He's my guy. Me and my Muay kids Thai. love Rod Tang. I like it. And then we have Marty. We have like maybe five more guys in the gym that fights. There. I watch when Buchecha is fighting and yeah, when Buchecha, Adriano Mike, Moraes is but, fighting. But I Messi. like the Ruto Wallace brothers. I like Mike Musso Messi. And, and, and I'm not even trying to... to uh, I'm not going to talk shit about one FC because we never know, right? No. Let's say one day UFC kick me out. I'm going to be looking for another job. I cannot burn the bridge, <laughs> right? But and say one FC is shit, <laughs> but, right? But my we never know, is, my brother. You saw what this guy said it on, on the on the. So that's what I'm talking about. That, so yeah. I didn't want to talk about that, but if the guy is two time champions, and I was surprised because because he was saying that he was saying crazy. Right? I, I felt that they treat me really good because UFCPI was giving me meals. Did you see that? Like on mm -hmm. the on the fight week, like they were taking care of me the whole week. They were giving meals, and I say, what they do when you want to see? They just throw you in the fucking room and say, hey, do your thing. I want you on Friday on the weight, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, and, and you saw what he said to you. <laughs> is, he, is that is that? And you saw no. He said worse. He said I. I think for I'm not sure, even talk about the contract and all that for, stuff. But for sure, he has a contract that he cannot say much because he said. It's hard to talk about one championship, but I, I like I said, I know I, I kind of get the feeling we know that he cannot we say do? much. We should do, we should bring Buchecha on yeah. the podcast. But they, they have an AD, they cannot say much because this guy said it. What, the only thing that I can say, if you think about signing with one championship, don't. You know, like that. Yeah. Hey, that I think we should not put that on the on the podcast, my brother. For sure we can. That he said it. Yeah. On all So let's He's afraid. let's, These let's guys hope afraid. we never get kicked out of UFC. No, I'm, not go, I'm not going out there because. But think Imagine about. Imagine one day Donald White is mad at he, you and say, "Hey, Gilbert Burns, but kick your fucking ass." And then, but think about what it. you're gonna do, my brother. You're gonna but, talk shit about potential. I will. I will. Huh? I will. I'll burn everything. I don't care. <laughs> hey. <laughs> These guys is treating Bushesha and you know why Marais, he's, you everybody. know why this motherfucker is honing his mouth like that because Bitcoin is 89k, <laughs> my brother. That's fucking why. You know, no, but honestly, I'm going no. to Dana White and hey. if Dana White talk shit to me, I say, hey, watch your mouth, kid. Bitcoin is 89k, okay? <laughs> don't don't push money moicano too much. Otherwise, yeah. I'm not gonna fight, my brother. No, I don't need that but, shit. But you know what? <laughs> I have two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? God bless Bitcoin, my brother. <laughs> God bless Bitcoin. <laughs> you know what? Hey, I saw you shooting. I saw you shooting the Bitcoin gun, bro. How did that go? That fucking gun, dude. Did you see hey, that, my I brother? I saw that. The Bitcoin yeah. gun, my brother. Very Pimbla, hey. easy money. <laughs> huh? No, he's talking about the. I saw the, the other one too. The yeah, pistol. The, yeah, the, the pistol and yeah. huge shootout. If you guys can make a clip of the best gun maker in the USA, T Gun Vault. Sponsor, this guy sponsor. is fucking amazing. Sponsor. Brother. No, he's, partner, not, he's, partner, not, partner, he's, he's not a sponsor. He's a friend, my brother. He takes care of everybody, <laughs> especially in America Top Team. He says, hey, you want to fucking shoot? Let's fucking go. And the motherfucker bought a car and said, hey, shoot the fucking car. Set the motherfucking car on fire. Do whatever you guys want. And 
man, he even gave a AK, like a golden AK, fully gold plated AK to Dana White. You guys can put can see that on, on Dana White's uh, account or, or T Gun Vault. But I I just have to say thank you because he always take care of us and, and that fucking gun is amazing, my brother. They're gonna show you let's go, the let's Bitcoin go. gun, my brother. <laughs> just shooting Satoshis, my brother. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, well, let's let's look at the card this weekend, boys. What are you guys? What fight are you guys most looking forward Hoofy. to? Mauricio one Hoofy, one hundred percent Charles Oliveira, my brother. I think that's the real main event. Yeah, no, that's the people's, people's main event. event. That's 100%. the people's main event. Charles Oliveira versus Chandler, and, and I'm worried. I'm got? worried for Charles. Who you got? I am too. Who you got? I have Charles. I have Charles. But you Can't worry. Work. But I'm worried about that Wait, because. He, The first fight was not easy, right? No, yeah. The first fight was not easy. Yeah. Michael Chandler ten is fucking... 8 Remember, it was 10 8 first round. I bring this T-shirt for Michael Chandler. He cannot afford to lose, my brother. Neither of those guys can afford to lose. If Chandler loses, right. he spent two of years of his life waiting for McGregor, and then he loses. That's not a good look. And Charles Oliveira lost, lost Armand. to Armand. So if he lost to Michael Chandler... They're gonna put him a. Como é que chama de porteiro? Yeah, the. Like Neil Magnus, like a. How you call the guy? No, no, no. The guy that, that is on the door. Yeah, the, the guy's on the door to see. Doorman. If, yeah, yeah, like a door. Like, like this, you know? They, uh, they're gonna uh, test like him. Like a gatekeeper. Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper, exactly. So if yeah. he lose to Michael Doorman. Chandler, his chances, he's 35, almost 36. So if he lost to Chandler, it's going to be hard to see Charles get another run. I don't doubt Charles because yeah. he did that again, right? Ah, he did that yeah. over and over. So I think Charles will win. But Michael Chandler, I think if he loses, he's gonna he gonna lose his mind, my brother. What do you think, Gilbert? Yeah, I think I, I do believe Chandler is so powerful and so dangerous, especially on the first two minutes. On the first round, and I'll, and then and then that 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 thing kind of go down, and then the first minute on the second round, and then the la the first thirty seconds on the third round because he's so explosive, so fast. He's a small dude, he hits very hard, and his footwork on the beginning, he, it's so good. He's so <laughs> explosive, so fast. He almost knocked Charles on the first. Yeah, he, home. There was ten yeah. eight that first round. Michael Chandler won the first that round, fight was, eight, that and fight knocked was, down the second round. So yeah, so that fight was one or two seconds away from being stopped. Yeah, yeah, in that, yeah. In, at the end of the first round. So, but then the guy freaking Highlander came back and knocked him out. So, uh, I do believe Charles will win this fight, but Michael Chandler is going to be so dangerous, so devastated that he can do anything in that first two minutes on the first round and on the first minute on the second round. And the good yeah. thing is, who wins too? Probably, if not fighting for the belt, gonna fight McGregor. Yeah, if for... McGregor get back, I don't think yeah, he's getting yeah, back. But yeah. at, at least yeah. he's going to be on the talkings, right? People are gonna yeah. be talking about yeah, that. I think right. I think they both. They say he's a number one contender fight. Uh, the best thing that can happen for the winner of Charles Oliveira and Michael Chandler it's Armand Sarukian win. Because then it's gonna be a trilogy, and then one of these guys they should they should do like Carlos Pratis did. Carlos Pratis, hey Jack Madeline in February, or I like Joffrey New too. Blah, blah blah. If one of these guys, whoever wins, say hey, give me Conor McGregor. I want to fight for the title. That's my title shot. But if it takes so long, Conor McGregor. You know, yeah. like I think that that's what both like are gonna that. do. Whoever wins. Yeah. Call me crazy, bro, but. I mean, Michael Chandler, 38 years old. I think two years off, just dialed in on training, not taking damage. I think it's a good spot for him. Yeah. And Oliveira's been through a lot of fights We're gonna find the out. last few years. You know, very active. I think this is a good spot for Chandler. He's a plus 200 underdog. Would you bet ah, some money on always, Chandler? I will. I, I like him by knockout. Man, the fight. level of I, disrespect know, against Charles, my brother. I like him by knockout, Unbelievable. We thought about bringing Charles. I just think it's a good, to, I think it's a good spot for him, but. Unbelievable. Every time we're I'm going to bring Charles. Yeah, he's not coming anymore, man. He's not, Charles is not coming anymore, bro. He was going to come, but you messed up. 
<laughs> what about Chandler? Chandler's not coming because you guys picked against him. <laughs> he wasn't coming anyways because Moikana. <laughs> Moikana got to be back. Moikana's been nice about it. He did the shirt no, for yeah. him. He came. He said, not afford to lose. And talking about that, if you guys want a t-shirt like that, moneymoikana.com, my brother. Let's fucking <laughs> help the business, the small business, the family-owned business in America. <laughs> Even though I'm oh, not American, God. my brother. <laughs> All right, I got to ask you guys. Does Stipe have any chance here? I heard, I heard a little sure rumor he that I think I don't might think like he have has a dog a, pick here. I don't think he has a slight chance on the fight, my brother. For sure he has chance. Really? How old yeah. are he? How old is he? 42, 43. But heavyweight, don't cut weight. You know, like yeah, 40, 43, four, four years without fighting. Three. But and his last fight, he got put away by Francis. Yeah, by Francis. Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's not shame by Francis. <laughs> exactly. Know? No, you're right. You're right. What did they I bad? mean, if you really think about John Jones, like, like we obviously know, you know. It's John Jones, but at the end of the day, he's only had one, the one heavyweight fight, and it was surreal gone, and there was just such a, a difference at their level of grappling, and he got, you know, he put him away early. This is still, I think there's still question marks about John Jones at heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who, sure. who, 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 on who are you going to bet, Matty? I mean, it's not, it's not even bettable if you're on John Jones. He's like minus 700. I mean, if you're going to take him, like I ask you guys, if you take John Jones, do you prefer the knockout, or do you think he can sub? I don't, I don't think he he'll knock back. out. Yeah, you think he's going to be a sub if if John Jones win. But I'm kind of changing a little a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm going towards Stipe as the fight gets really? closer. You know, I'm going towards Man, Stipe. Man, there is no way. I think he's... I know. He's always a way. He's too old, my brother. 42, even though he's heavyweight. What's, so, Gilbert, true. what's the path to victory for, for Stipe if you think he wins Stipe, this? Knock out. He's, Stipe knock out. he's a slow starter, but he has, bro, his boxing is good. The the yeah. the, the thing that I hate, the, I'm a big John Jones fan. I, I think John Jones is going to win. He's going to be very hard, but Stipe is the hardest matchup by far. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why, because his takedown defense is very... Then gain, you saying? Then gain? He's a... He's a have... No, 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 no. I'm saying... The the he's the hardest matchup for John John Stipe because his takedown defense is very good and his boxing is very good. Mas, mas eu tô querendo saber é uma é uma luta. I'm sorry because my English is fucking terrible. Terrible. Você tá dizendo que é uma luta mais dura que quem? Que todo mundo. Ele é a luta mais difícil. So, so Gilbert is saying he's the yeah, hardest. He's fight the hardest on, fight to John John on, on the roster. I was not understanding that because that is crazy. Thomas Aspinal, Aspinal too. Aspinal is a tough fight too, but yeah. that's it. He's, yeah. he's one of the If most... If Thomas Pinal fight Stipe Miocic, you can put your house, my brother, on, on Aspinal, right? Yeah, I agree. Your fucking house. I don't know. There is no way he can... <laughs> he doesn't have a chance to beat... Stipe Miocic doesn't have a chance to beat Aspinal. And then you say Stipe Miocic is a harder fight than Aspinal? He's a hard, he's no. a hard fight. You think it's an easy no, fight? No, not even you believe what, that, my brother. What, what's the path to, to, to John Jones to win? <laughs> what's the easy path to John Jones, you think? Takedowns. But the guy has a very good takedown defense. But but Aspinal is way faster. No, Aspinal younger. is a hard fight too, but those two are the hardest fight for John Jones. What, what I'm saying is he's a very hard fight for John Jones too. It's not an easy fight. Aspinal is freaking young, very young. Young, different too, but uh yeah, maybe. That's what I'm telling. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell. But thank you, Kyle Betts. Uh, why Kyle Betts is not sitting yeah, here? Yeah, I like today? Kyle Betts here too. Come on, Maddie was mad. I asked Maddie before the party, he don't even want to answer. <laughs> Look at him. Let, hey, let us Kyle know in the Betts comments. Kyle Betts can replace me, bro. Kyle Betts can replace me. <laughs> not not replace, but not he can stay no, here no, when you're not here. You live in the dream in Vegas, you, my brother. You, you don't have a replacement, but you're in Vegas, so the guy could sit here, have a little fun. <laughs> when you're back, you're back. <laughs> I can't wait to get back. Bro. Can't, he cannot uh, wait to get. He cannot wait to go down on the room. Probably, probably huh? he lost a lot Dude, of money. That's how that's Vegas fine. is, bro. That's how Vegas is. You're, you're hyped to get there, and then you get there, and then you're you're excited to get back. <laughs> that's literally how Las Vegas is. And these guys. Is... Yeah. So so, the question is, what the chances of Stip Miocic one to ten? Yeah. How much you would you say one to ten? Stip Miocic against John Jones. 
Bro, this guy get chance, bro. If if John, I'm asking you the one to ten, man. Uh, five. You being too I, optimist. I, I think I think he has optimist. more than five. More I than think, five. I think he has yeah. real chance, bro. That guy hits like a truck, bro. Put everyone down. Good takedown defense. Like if you think about John Jones, the way he beat Zero Gain, bro, that was easy takedown, easy finish. He don't even want to strike that much with the guy. That guy has more power than Zero Gain. Better takedown defense than Zero Gain. If he don't, John Jones back then don't want to don't want to do too much with Zero Gain. Bro, this guy is this guy is scary, bro. So I know I get it, it that he's Gilbert. older. I get oh. it that he's, but the guy is bro, so say, say still a very number. good. Say a number. Six, the seven. chance zero to ten. The chance that he has, I would say seven. Seven. I That's agree. fucking crazy. What about you? Th I'm going six. 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 I would say yeah. I would say five. 50-50. No, no, you be honest. You don't think five. You just think five because you say no, seven. No, because... What are you going to say before? Three. I would say yeah. two. I See? would say two. <laughs> I would say two. But but you're right. He's a good wrestler. He can defend the takedown. And he's a good boxer. But... He hits like a truck, bro. But I don't think he has the best IQ. Why fighting. not? Why not? Because really? I don't know. I think he's going to start the fight and he's start to going to start to... To no, brawl. he started slow. He started getting the distance. He started slow. He's not a. He got not knocked a out starter. by DC. Yeah, and then he, what, what, what did he did on the way back? But what round he knocked it out? First by DC? round. No, no, first no. round. First round. He, yeah, yeah, first round. That's why you're not sitting here today, Kyle Betts. You're getting wrong. <laughs> no, don't. Hey, don't Gilbert. Do if you, hey. Gilbert, if you remember the Stipe Francis fight. If you watch that finishing sequence, Stipe actually stunned Francis right before. He I always think that's why does. He, got put away. he always yeah. does look. He kind of had Francis hurt a little bit, and then he walked into a big shot. Yeah, but look, he has four losses on his career, right? You know that, right? Or you don't know? Look at this guy, the level of disrespect. No, brother, I cannot, I cannot look, tell, man. but look. look. Good or bad? Nice. That's nice. Good but or look, bad? Yeah. Look, he has four losses. Look. Look. The only guy that he couldn't get that win back was Stefan Struve because Stefan Struve got out of the UFC. But Dos Santos, he lost to Dos Santos, knocked him out. He scroll, and then, then he lost to DC, knocked DC out. And then he finished France, and then France, he, he beat the crap out of France. He didn't finish France, and France finished him. Other than that, everyone that he lost, he beat it back. Bro, the guy. So, he, so he's losing to John Jones, and then. He got back and win. That's no, no, what no, you're saying. No. I'm saying that he's beating everybody. This guy is a problem. People, and I'm very hype on John Jones too. Don't get me wrong, but you yeah. ju just don't count. Just don't count this guy out. Just don't think, oh, it's easy. This guy and, is and that's zero to saying, ten. No. This guy is true. This guy's not true, bro. That, that guy hits like a freaking truck. Good takedown defense. Good grappling. Is the father of his? Is the same? He 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 can wear that shirt too. He cannot afford to lose. If he beat John Jones... I think he has a lot of money to lose. He bro, can't afford to if lose. he beats John Jones... <laughs> and he has the a guy, day job too. If the guy beats John Jones... <laughs> bro, this He's guy a fucking is, fighting man, you know bro. What, I mean? what you mean? Is, That's why I'm saying 5-5, five, five, because I have weight 5. No, you said you. Then, but then, then you change your man, mind. That guy doesn't know how to win a discussion. You know? He, he was showing valid points, and I'm saying, okay, that's why I'm going 5 now. <laughs> <laughs> Valid points, my brother. Yeah. But, but right, well, I think it's safe. What do you think? think yeah, what do you think, Maddie? Zero to ten. You said six. I said six. Ah, you said I six. said six. Yeah, but I, don't, I just think, it, honestly, I look at that fight and I have no idea how it goes. Like, even if you're like, okay, John Jones is winning, Crazy, it's right? still hard to like think about how he wins. Like, is he, you know, is he a ground and pound? Is it a sub? Is it a decision? I have no idea how the fight plays out, truthfully. I think I his no best idea. chance will be a ground and pound, right? But it's going to be hard to take yeah. this guy down. It's going to be hard to knock this guy down. Just if Moikano says, if he's a little older, he's, he's chinning a little bit, he get knocked out, then he's over. Then John Jones so, is on the ground and pound. So since Gilbert is 42, he can tell us. I can tell you, yeah. Me and my right? guy. Me, bro, those heavyweights, as the weight goes up, those guys don't cut a lot of weight. Freaking Glover at 42 became a champion. For heavyweights, yeah. for these guys, bro, all, all most of these guys are over 35, these heavyweights guys. Most of these guys. So do you think when he's 42, he's slower? 
I think so. But all those heavyweights are slow already. But this guy might be the most guy in shape for heavyweight right now. We know, like, with the USADA, with, the, with getting tests, because you get all these guys that are out of the UFC 47, they look shredded. Like, oh my God, the guy wasn't looking like that on the UFC. It, it, it's crazy. If the guy gets cut off UFC, he shred. One, one, one week later, motherfucker is out, he's walking like the Hulk, my brother. Just the only guy that's that's a while for me that he's 38 and he's on the best shape from the UFC is freaking Edison Barbosa, bro. Yeah. Like, what's these guys eating, bro? Like, yeah. come on, that guy's a different level shape. But 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 strict diet doesn't Crazy. eat anything, don't drink, not even this. Don't have fun, right? No, not fucking fun, my brother. Yeah. It's just on the bike yeah. every day. Wow. Fucking maniac. Doing, yeah, maniac. Crazy diet. Crazy. Don't eat the don't eat bread. Pudim, don't eat pudim, anything. Pudim. <laughs> Never. Brother, if you know what pudim is, the guy pudim is not is living the life, my brother. It's the pudim pudim is no pão de queijo. No pão de queijo. No wow. pão de queijo. Picanha, picanha. No picanha. One, one, picanha is just one bite. Just chicken, my brother. Just chicken. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And what do yeah. you, Gilbert, what do you think about John Jones' weight? Because I, I like think, it. You know, he, was like two, he was like 248 or 250, I think, in the Serial Gone fight. And I guess there's, like on social media, it's saying that he's like in the 230 range for this fight. I, I like it, that? to be honest. How I much is heavyweight? 230? 265. 265? But but he was the biggest guy. At, at, I think that was his mentality because when he was a light heavyweight, he wanted to be the biggest guy. He was always big. And then he, when he moved up, he wanted to still have that advantage. And then when he feels yeah. that, okay, I think he lost a little bit of his athleticism when he went up because he was too big. Me, my opinion, I like him better right now. The way he looks right now, I, me, I think he's yeah. going to be more athletic, more kicks, more movement. I think, I do believe John Jones is going to win and he's very dangerous. But what I'm saying is, don't count Steepy out. Oh, it's going to be easy. Yeah. Number two, bro. So if you're betting, you listen to him. I think John Jones will win. And then, easy fight, me your cheat, steep me your cheat. Yeah, uh, zero to ten, seven. Yeah, I think John Jones is gonna win, but I think he's gonna. That have, makes sense. But what a, I think, from a betting perspective, I think it's gonna bets. be a war. I'm not. Hey, I'm doing. I'm not yeah. doing that for the bets, my guys. I'm doing a fighter preview right here. I think Stipe is very, very tough, and he has a high chance to beat John Jones. I think John Jones yeah. is gonna win. Anything can happen, but I think it's gonna be yeah. a war. Well, look in in betting. A lot of people will say, like, the professional bettors will tell you it's about finding value. So a lot of people will literally bet things that they don't even think is going to happen. But you just have to ask yourself, can Stipe win this fight two out of ten times, hypothetically, right? And if the answer is yes, he's For positive sure. value to bet on him as a four-to-one underdog or whatever he is, four-to-one, five-to-one. Uh, so it, it it's tough to say. I, I think the whole world's obviously going to be betting on John Jones by some sort of outcome, whether it's a knockout or submission. Um, but we, we'll, we'll see what happens. I do want to talk on the fight before the co-main that I want to get your guys' opinion on. Bo Nickel, hey, a minus guy. 1,000 favorite over Paul Craig. Do you guys like this matchup hey, for him? Because you bet in your guy, be like, honest. Before yeah, you, you ask, bet in, you, you bet, bet in your, your guy. Craig. You bet in, you, you, you bet in Bo Craig. Um, by submission? <laughs> My knockout. You, you bet on him for sure. <laughs> Be honest. I don't, I don't think I am, bro. The, the, I'll tell you why. The I think Bo Nickel and Paul his... Craig, I guess you're not coming to the party again. D, look at this guy, bro. <laughs> the level of disrespect. How, co how come he, he bet on him against Kyle Bohado? And he's not betting on him <laughs> against... Bro, but think, if you think about hey, it... I got what I deserved against betting against Kyle. Let, but let me tell By you something. Way, hey, let me tell you something. Is Kyle going to get that Adesanya fight? Hey, that, hey, that's a good matchup. Hey, he le, no, I think that's going to be him involved. Let, let me tell you something. Yeah. If you bet Paul Craig against Kyle Bohalio, And Kyle Bohali just finished him well, third round, right? You're not gonna bet on him against Bonico? The level is I'll tell you why, bro. I'll tell you why. I just think Bo Nickel and his team are so particular about how often he fights and who the matchup is that I just feel like they're like very calculated with it and that they obviously really like this matchup for some yes. reason. Yes. But you and know let this me tell fight something. this fight's supposed to be Rodolfo Vieira, right? Yes, yes. Uh, was supposed to be. So they really want a jujitsu guy. Of course, they like, want a jujitsu yeah. guy because Paul Craig. Right. He he he, do, he 
he don't have that kind of striking to, I think, to impose trouble to Bonico. Yeah. And Bonico was over here in America Top Team, so I saw him training a lot. And he was, like, after the classes, he was work with a jiu-jitsu guy. So he bring a, a very high-level jiu-jitsu who, who, guy. Who? I don't know his name. but American? Every, American. But everybody will say, hey, this guy's number three on... I don't Where? fucking know. <laughs> Where? Number three? Where? On Flo the jiu-jitsu rankings. Yeah, I don't Flo know. Grappling? Like, the, the, he say, this is one of the top three jiu-jitsu guys. White guy, black guy. White guy, white guy. Let's find out. Yeah, let's Quick. find out. So he, he bring a very good jiu-jitsu guy. And like... After every practice... Hey, I was talking... Sorry, I was talking about Edson Barbosa. Just saw here they close. Edson Barbosa, I like this fight against Steve Garcia. Really? Let me see. Oh, There's wow. a nice fight, right? Let me see. In Garcia. Brazil. I think Garcia that's easy right. money January, for Barbosa. January. This is LA. easy money, brother. No, but that's a good fight because Steve Garcia can take easy so much. money. Right? That's a nice fight, right? Right, Bet? Hold Betty? on. It's easy money. Easy money for which side? Hey, yeah, the level of disrespect, my brother. Hey, Steve Garcia. What you mean by money his side? Hey, Steve Garcia hits hard and can take a lot of punishment, bro. What do you think, Matty? Garcia's on a knockout tear, bro. Bro, been, five been knockouts. By knockout. Five knockouts. Yeah. Do you think he has like the same it. level of Barbosa on the striking? On the boxing, his boxing is good. He can take a lot, bro. That's yeah. the only thing. Yeah. That's a good fight. We'll go back. Yeah, go but back. What, what I was Let saying is Bonico. he was working on the, of course, triangle, arm bar. So every practice he was working on that. So I think he will be ready. I think he will be ready. And I think he's finished Paul Craig. By what? Submission or knockout? TKO, submission. I think the fight uh, not go to the distance. Oh, wow. By, by Bonico is finishing. Yeah, let me ask you something. Vivian Araújo and Karine Silva are on the main card. Do you main think that's card. main card worth? I don't They always put in the girls there. Like, they always try to put yeah. one girl on the... I'm not trying the... to even to be funny, but I don't think they 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 are well-known, no, right? Agree. No, it should. Yeah. It, should it could be easily uh, Chris Weidman, you know, former champ at Yeah, home. That's, that's, that's what I'm yeah. telling you. See? And even put... that fight is going to be nice. Jonathan Martinez Jonathan and Marcus Martinez. McGee. That or fight's even Jim Miller. Nice. Or you even Jim Miller. That could, yep. Honestly, that Martinez McGee fight could 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 arguably be fighting the night if it plays out the right way. I think we'll be, and I think this guy's the best underdog of the card. Who? McGee. He's a favorite, bro. He's a favorite. I think. I don't think so. Yeah, now he's a favorite. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Like last week, he was the underdog. Oh, that guy was there. Yeah, that guy was. Yeah, who is this guy? This guy is a. Uh, Good jiu-jitsu, right? Very good. I forgot his name. He's uh, Isaac Micho. Very good. Very, Everybody very was talking about level. this guy. High level. Very I high level. When we went to New York, very, very high level. Isaac Micho. So, so he will be no? ready. He will be ready for... for yeah. This yeah. guy. Mm. All right. Let's get into some picks. Let's get into some picks. Just build a oh. parlay. Uh, Hoof is winning for sure. What do you guys sure. like in that... Rufy, what do you like in that Weidman Eric Anders fight? Rufy by murder. Yeah, well, he's a huge favorite though. Yeah. yeah, he's one of the biggest favorites on the card outside of Bonico. But so, what, what do so you guys think you about think that? They put him as a, in the main card. I like that it. shows like they love him, I right? Like, I like it because the UFC looking for those stars. Yeah. This guy has a crazy hype in Brazil. Everybody's talking about this guy. Little Conor McGregor style hit super hard. Yeah. So I think UFC is looking for a star and they're trying to put this guy to fight a long time ago already. Everybody say no. And the UFC know it's not his fault that he's not fighting. Everyone say no. So you know what? We believe so much in this guy. Let's throw this guy on the pay-per-view. So let's see. You know, I like yeah. it. I want to ask you guys because I, I was actually talking to a buddy the other day. The fighting nerds, guys, it's hard to figure out like who's the best out of the four. Yeah, I, they like, say where would you rank? The best. Where would you rank them? Because like Ruffy is so good too. They say he's and, the like, best. Kai is on... yeah, yeah, man. Is that, that man? Crazy? That's a new. That's yeah. a new generation of I Brazilians. Like like, very, very, very nice. That man, they, they Carlos Prates, Ruffy, Jean Silva, Borralho, Borralho. On the beginning, Where I thought that Borralho would be the most successful. Now I don't know. No, but they say Ruffy is different. Like I have so many friends there in in São Paulo. That they say they go there to watch the guys that do podcasts, the guys that work on the UFC, five pads in Brazil. 
And I said, who's the best? Yeah. Don't, please, who's the best? And they said, bro, Hoofy by far. And I say, how, how, why by far? Because he's, they said, you know, you know that, how you call that movie? Back in the days that, I think with Jean-Claude Van Damme, when he was fighting, and one time he, he mimics one animal, and then go, and it looked like a different one. You know White that movie? dragon or something like that? You know that movie that I'm talking about, right? What's you know, it called? With, with Jean-Claude Van Damme, that he, he kind of play animals. He's fighting like a monkey one time, Next fight, he's fighting like a dragon. You guys don't know. So he said, nah. this guy kind of like that. And I said, what do you mean? He said, some days he come and he's like doing Conor McGregor moves. The other day he comes and he does Poata moves. And and then like, <laughs> for, and then they said, you look legit. The guy hits very hard, knock guys out with the big gloves, crazy kicks, good boxing, good defense, good defense, good movement. They said Roof by far is the best guy at fighting nerds. That's why I'm super excited for this guy. What? And that's crazy to think because like Prates looks, looks so good. It does one 12 fights in a row by knockout. Yeah, but Prates is more cigarettes. He's more cool. And, and Prates is more, <laughs> he, he's a great striker, but they said this guy, but Prates has the, the Muay Thai style. They said this guy's creative, you know, like do crazy spinning. Yeah. And yeah. they are doing a good job on the YouTube channel too. I like it. I like it. So everything, the, you everything. can see the yeah. training and they talking and that, that's very cool. That yeah. It's very nice to see Brazilian nice fighters see. doing that kind of stuff. So yeah. fighting nerds. Yeah. Because nice. especially Brazil because Brazil is a freaking jungle. You know, if you're not in, don't don't say that. No, no, no. It, it the is. The level of w what I'm saying. What now I'm, he's America. He can talk no, no. trash about Brazil. <laughs> what I'm saying is, no, no, no help, no sponsors. The you don't get paid nothing. Get paid zero. No to sidewalks. Fight, to fight. No bus. To fight on these small organizations that you're not gonna get paid. You know, it's gonna be very tough fight. So, and. Everyone that was trying to make is not a lot of options. You gotta go to Pitbull Brothers, otherwise in the north of Brazil, or you gotta go to North Union, or you gotta stay on your small team, try to make it, but sometimes not a lot of wrestlers. Very hard to get out of Brazil to become a fighter. And then you gotta come to the US, and then sometimes they decline your visa, it, it, it's a nightmare. And you don't make no money, so it's so rough. But I'm so happy when Avignon was huge, getting big, when people brought us. And now we have one more option, you know. So it, it, uh, for sure, the fighters is doing great. But I'm looking the landscape, the other fighters. Now they have a, a, another place that can go and they're going to have the, the views and they can get out of that. Because other than that, it's hard, bro. Super hard to get out of Brazil as, as a fighter. Dude, I saw Carlos protest that he was like fighting for like hundreds of dollars. And then this year... He's now won four fifty k bonuses. Is that you know crazy? that you know that's more than one million reais in Brazil. He made more than one million just in bonuses. Fifty thousand, fifty thousand, wow. fifty thousand, two hundred thousand US. Almost yeah. times six in Brazil is over one million dollars in, in reais, reais, reais. Wow. In reais in Brazil. One million reais over there. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. It's amazing. Yeah, but yeah. again, Mauricio Hofi is winning one hundred percent. All right, let me ask you this thing because he's like a not what's the what's he minus 750? He's probably up to minus 900 now. Is he minus seven, well, seven, seven? I can bet the house, I can bet the house on Ruffy by finish. You're not gonna make sure don't, don't do it, you know? Pull the house, no, no, by by finish, like put him, he's got a KO. Knockout, knockout. For How sure. much? House? look the odds by knockout. Yeah, imagine uh, if go by not... submission because they say no, they're no, good no. in the ground too. By knockout, he want to shoot, yeah. MSG, he gonna start going crazy. People go crazy. He Bats. wanna get the highlight. Yeah, you wanna. And, and these guys are crazy. You know what? I like, uh, what I like about these guys too, because everyone say the same. Because what, first time I saw, I say, ah, oh, these guys are crazy. They just saying. But everyone now is saying they don't train only to win. They train the goal for every fire nerd is to go there and get a bonus. You know, like, yeah, yeah, that's just this guy saying. But then I think guy they said, are throwing the some guy, side money to Gilbert. Gilbert no, is... this guy, I'm, I'm hype about these guys. They're doing great, bro. Huh? Like, very hard 
Four guys. Hey, you start your manager career, my brother? I will soon. Huh? Soon I'm coming. Soon. I, I still got a couple more. I think man. this guy's trying to be a manager hey, over here. I'm managing hey, five this guy. Nets, hey, I can hey, get you fucking hey. visa. I can get you. Hey, how you like the manager? <laughs> how you like How you like the manager? Be honest. Be honest. <laughs> That's a good manager over here, man. See, he like it. He like it. That's a good manager over here, man. I'm learning. <laughs> learning from the best. The, that is Ali and this is the Alo. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Alo. <laughs> all right let's build the parlay all right i need one pick from both of you guys that's not losing but it can't be crazy minus marcus mcgee marcus mcgee brother this motherfucker is not losing you like mcgee he's not that he's your favorite so that's a good pick minus 140 how, uh, how i like that oh oh uh chris weidman is underdog yeah he uh yeah plus 120 you think he's losing kyle I don't think he's losing. What do you think? He's I risky, think, but what do you think, Matty? Well, I don't think his his one win aged that well. It was the Bruno Silva win, right? And I don't think he looked that great. But he just needs that win, you know? I think that fight, he needs that win to, to build the confidence back. He's at home. Yeah. I think he's going to win. I don't think... I like Eric Anderson, but I don't think he's that, like, too Maybe much. Maybe Weidman by decision could hit. I think Wideman by the decision is hitting. Yeah. You don't think, okay. Kyle? Should we, should we take it? But should look, we leave look, it out on the parlay? Kyle, coach, think? MMA coach Kyle says no. <laughs> no, I'm going. If he's winning for sure, I will. I go more. Thinking about I that. I go Hoofy. I think, go Hoofy. This guy's a, putting doubts on my mind, so I go Hoofy. Thinking about that. Hoofy by knockout. It's good that Kyle Betts didn't didn't see went here, to right? the to the podcast today because he was <laughs> he. Was about to talk about David Goggins. David Goggins would never bet on on a decision by on a, by Chris White. Who's gonna he carry will, the boat? Will, who gonna carry the boat? You have to burn <laughs> the boat. <laughs> oh God! Go, go, go. Right. Hoofy by knockout. All right, fair enough. I I'm in Las Vegas, so I can't build the parlay on Fliff right now. But we'll Kyle's still we'll still it. whip it up and we'll figure out what it pays later. Kyle uh, Betts is doing Kyle that. Or, Kyle Betts is doing Mike right now. It. Yeah. All right, so we're going Marcus McGee. I'm in on that one. We go Ruffy as well, even though he's a huge favorite. We got to go one more pick. I think we're not touching the main event uh, for obvious reasons. Um, David Jonama is not fucking you, losing in 100 yeah. years, brother. But the fight was kissing, like right? They, they said the guy Lucas Almeida, is, he, he, he pulled out. Uh, did he? What about Ty Bora? Ty Bora was able to take two Ivasa down Ty and sub him. Unfor unfortunately, Ty Bora is winning. Unfortunately, because I want Jonathan Denise to come and make a name, but Ty Bora is going to freaking take him down. Or he's going to Mario Bautista him. <laughs> Ty Bora, yeah, Ty Bora's grappling is, is pretty underrated, I feel like, yeah. for heavyweight. I didn't like it when, the first time that he, when he got the arm bar from Spivak. I like, man, this guy, but... I actually look at a couple fights. He got decent takedown, decent control on the cage. Unfortunately, Denise too too green with the takedown defense with the grappling. I want Jonathan to come up as a force on the UFC on the as a Brazilian guy on the heavyweight. But I think Ty Bura is gonna be he's gonna be able to hold him against the cage, take him down. The only way Jonathan Denise got to finish is first round knockout. Other than that, it's gonna be hard for him. Yeah. Mm. I'm down for Tybora. Moikana, are you in on Tybora? No. Really? Okay. Uh, I think that's too risky. I think Jonathan throwing. Diniz will win. Yeah? What about How? what about the go to the bottom? The I think the Hardy girls fight. not losing. About that. So you wanna you gonna bet on the girls? You gonna pick the girls? Yeah. MMA women's now? Yeah, but Which the, I think losing? the other girl, the other girl. Karini? Yeah. I, oh, see Silva. Okay. I don't think she's losing. Yeah. But she's a big favorite, right, I think. Big favorite? No, minus. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's 70. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. She is a decent favorite, but nothing crazy. Oh, you want to put Bo on there? Oh, you want Bo Nico? Bo Nico, I think it's minus 1,000. Yeah, let's leave Bo Nico oh, out. Wow. All right, Karina Silva. So, right? uh, see if Kyle, see if, PKO, right? if Kyle or Mike can build this parlay and flip. But we'll go Karina Silva. Uh, we'll go Ruffy. And we'll go. Uh, what was the first one? The first leg. Uh, Marcus McGee. 
Marcus McGee. Those the three knockout backs. is not That's available good. right now, Maddie. Yeah, just just money line then. Money line, money line. Money line for Ruffy. That's three legs. That's not losing. McGee. McGee, who? And uh, Karina. Karina. Karina, yeah. So plus plus how much? Plus one thirty nine. I like that. That's hidden. Plus one thirty nine. So yeah. So a hundred hour a hundred hours would return two two thirty nine total total payout. Let's lock that in. I like that. Return of investments. I like it. Bad is not uh, investment. Any last right? Any last thoughts on the card? Any other fights that you guys that we haven't talked that we haven't touched uh, on? Let like? me let me check. Hey Kyle Betts. Let me see the card, motherfucker. What about uh, Hafez versus Oban Elliott? Who? I uh, don't touch that fight. That's a tough fight. Who yeah. you think winning on that one? I think can go either way. I think Hamiz Brahimaj is winning because he said Oban Elliott and, and Hafez. That's a tough fight, right? I think Elliott wins. Yeah. Who you think wins on that? I like Elliott. I like Elliott. I like Elliott too, but like it's, Elliot it's a hard too. fight. Not easy. Yeah, it is. Not easy. It is a hard one. Not easy at all. Not easy at all, match bets. Hey, and it's this uh, weekend that we have Tyson. Tyson, yes. This week, oh, we're yeah, going we to talk see on that. people going to pay to watch elderly abuse, man. You don't have to pay, right? It's, it's on Netflix for free. If the, <laughs> the generation of the society got to a point that I cannot stand anymore, my brother. We're moving, right? Where are you moving? Where are you going? Everyone, everywhere heard that. Yeah, brother. Imagine watching Netflix to, to see a young motherfucker kill an old man. How you think that goes? Two minute round. 62 years old, right? No, 59. 58. 58. 58. Is it 59 now? 58. Ah, now it's much better. Now I think he... <laughs> so Moicano... It's not 62. It's is... not 62. It's 59. Ah, that's okay now. <laughs> no, Moicano, that's okay. Jake 59 Paul is, only... is still a... Uh, he's still young, <laughs> my brother. Bro, Jake Paul I don't only, know. Jake Paul is only Jake Paul like, is only minus two hundred. my boy is in cheeky fifty eight. No problem. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jake Paul is only minus two hundred. Moicano, is that a is that a ten k bet? Who who is minus two hundred? Jake Paul. I don't fucking know who who <laughs> the fuck I I don't fucking know about boxing, but the, no matter what, yeah. this is wrong, brother. Because even if yeah. he wins the fight, you know how much how, money they how make? many years that gonna cost him? You know how At much, least 10 years. You know how much money they're making? No. 40 million guaranteed Jake Paul, 20 million guaranteed Mike Tyson. Yeah. I would do that for when See, I was that's why I, I would do that. That's why Mike Tyson is <laughs> fighting, I would do bro. that. I don't wanna leave you until so they're now. You feel good. Now. now you feel good about it, right? So who you pick? No, Two I don't feel rounds. good about it because eight, I'm not making money. A eight. eight Two minute rounds. I think Jake Paul wins, unfortunately. Who you think, Matty? I think Jake Paul by knockout. Man, that's going to be sad to watch. Yes. That's yeah. going to be sad But to watch. But the guy's making brother. 20 million. Why are you going to be so sad? 20 million. Because I don't think million. he needs money, my If brother. Buy all, yeah. He's fucking Mike Tyson. <laughs> if, he wants to, if he wants to sell used car, people would buy I think he does need the bread, bro. I think he do, does. Do you think too. he's broke? What about his marijuana stuff? I mean, dude, people have. You know how it is. People People's have not shit, smoking bro. a lot. Like every every place that shit. I go is people smells, smoking. Smells, right? Yeah, everybody's smoke weed. I think he's selling a lot, so I don't think it's money. I think it's money. I think he I wants think to big. to get back to the competition, right? I think it's money. Man, that was good. That's a lot of that was a good pause. Yeah. That was like the off scene. I think it's mine <laughs> right away. <laughs> uh, last topic. What do you think? I heard Usman versus Shavkat is potentially in the works. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think it's in the works. I think he's almost done. Deal. He's not. I think they. 
they working or something, but I think it's a done deal. I think it's a top five for tomorrow. I think, uh, yeah. but it's like it's kind of short yeah, notice, right? Kind of, right? I think Gilbert is working on that what deal, my brother. I what think now think? he's. I, I, I'm he secretly, works for UFC. I'm, no, no, I work half. I work a little bit for Ali, a little bit for the UFC. So <laughs> I think yeah, he's. But I think I think, he, I think Gilbert is just I'm, running and, the numbers. And and I'm not gonna say no. I, I, <laughs> and uh, bro, he wants I, to talk about Nick Diaz. That's the fucking yeah. truth, bro. You saw he wants you to saw talk the about video Diaz. of Nick Diaz, Matty. No, he was. You were just like you when you lost. Uh, 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 when you lost a bet. You didn't see that? You didn't see that? Come on. I'm about play, to look it up right now. Play that on. Don't Come watch on. that, my brother. Don't watch. You're going to look bad, bro. You're going to feel bad. The video. Really? The video. On the street. Put Nick D is on the street. He's living in Vegas? No. I don't where know. he lives? California? California? Yeah, he's from California. I don't know where he lives. I'm going to send it to you, Kyle. Interested. You saw it no? What is he doing? That was late night, I think Friday or Saturday. In the street of Vegas, if I'm not wrong. So, wow. this guy look intoxicated, looks bad, bro. Yeah. And he's has, he has a fight, same day as he's fighting Vicente Luque. What do you think, Matty? Do you get that crazy after you lost a big bet? If the Paul Lee <laughs> didn't hit, you go crazy <laughs> like that, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't I think Matty go like too far. What? I don't think you, you you go that far like crazy on the street because of bet. <laughs> you go to the casino. Casino is different. And you get <laughs> crazy that you. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah. All right. Final thoughts. Yeah, that, that video is crazy. Yeah, that video is crazy. But no, it's not even. Funny. I have a final yeah. thoughts. Yeah. No, for sure. If you got this far, brother, on the podcast. You see that t-shirt I cannot afford to lose. So go over there, moneymoicano.com and buy the shit out of our merch. And I think Maddie will be doing a show me the money t-shirts too. So soon we will have some t-shirts and hats for the yep. show. I think that's my message for today. And what these guys gotta do? These guys gotta like, subscribe, and share, my brother. Thank you so much. Almost hitting that 50K. And soon as we hit 50K, we're gonna bring some subscribers to spar with Gilberto Burns and Money Oikano and Matty Betts. He's on the bet too. So that would be fun. See a subscriber with martial arts background fighting against Matty Betts. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. We need 50K. Go subscribe.